Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Shabes online tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to solve for the value of y in this equation. And the given equation is what 5y minus 40y raised to the power of negative 1 over 2 is equal to 0. To solve for the value of y, the first thing we are going to do is to take this negative 40y to the power of negative half to the right hand side of this equation. So this is going to be what 5y is equal to when negative cross this equality sign is going to change to what positive y, 40y raised to the power of negative 1 over 2. The next thing we are going to do is to divide both sides of this equation by 5. So we divide the left hand side by 5, also the right hand side by 5. This 5 is going to cancel this 5. y now will be equal to 40 divided by 5 is the same as 8. Then y raised to the power of negative 1 over 2. So this 8 is multiply y to the power of negative half. So we can separate them. This is what y is equal to 8. Then multiply by y raised to the power of negative 1 over 2. Recall that when we have x raised to the power of negative y, it's the same as y 1 all over x raised to the power of positive y. What we did here, when this negative exponent is going to come down, it will change to what positive. So in this case, y now will be equal to 8 multiplied by, this is going to be the same as what 1 all over y to the power of positive half. This is the same. So the next thing we are going to cross multiply. This y is the same as y over 1. Then y to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by y, we are going to have y multiplied by y to the power of 1 over 2, which is equal to 1 multiplied by 8 is 8. 8 multiplied by 1 is the same. As then this y here can also be written as what y to the power of 1. So we recall multiplication property of indices. When the bases are the same and there is multiplication, we write one of the base, then we add the power. 1 plus 1 over 2, which is going to give us 8. So the next thing we are going to do, if we add 1 to 1 over 2, it's going to give us a 3 over 2. So y is raised to 3 over 2 which is equal to, and this 8 here can also be written as a 2 to the power of 3, because when you multiply 2 by 2 into 3 places, it's going to give us back 8. So the next thing we are going to do, remember we are looking for the value of y, is to read both sides of this equation by what? By the reciprocal of 3 over 2. And what do we mean by reciprocal? For instance, when we have x over y, the reciprocal is the same as what y over x. We just switch, turn the numerator to be denominator, and the denominator will come to numerator. So we are going to raise both sides by the reciprocal of 3 over 2. So we have y raised to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So when we raise this side by what the reciprocal now is going to be what 2 over 3, then also this one is going to raise to 2 over 3. So y, this 3 is going to cancel this 3, 2 is going to cancel 2. We are left with y which is equal to 2, then 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, then 6 divided by 3 is the same as 2. Then 2 to power 2 is the same as 2 multiplied by 2, which is going to give us 4. So therefore, 4 is the value of y that satisfies this equation. Thank you for watching, and please follow and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.